Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Star Wars week. So this week we're gonna be celebrating May the 4th. You ready? <laughs> Happy May the 4th! Um, I wish it was a little bit better weather, you probably can't tell, but it's raining. It is raining. So I'm going to be doing my four miles today for May the 4th on the treadmill. I actually have a sprint workout. Um, and I thought it would be fun to, in between my different sprint intervals, I will share some... Well, for me, there were little known facts about the Star Wars movies. Um, probably diehard Star Wars fans already knew this stuff, but I thought it was interesting, so... I was going to try to do the Princess Leia buns, but I was afraid that they weren't going to stay in while I was um, sprinting on the treadmill. So I'm Padme instead today. I've got my armband and white outfit. You have several white outfits to choose from in the movies, I've decided. So let's get started on the sprint workout and I'll share my little known facts that I, uh, that I found about Star Wars. Okay. I don't know why I insist on doing things like this during a, a sprint workout, but whatever. Um, our first fact that I did not know was that Chewbacca, the character of Chewbacca, was inspired by George Lucas's dog named Indiana. Indiana was a Alaskan Malamut, and uh, he would ride in George Lucas's car in the passenger seat just sitting there like a person and I guess that inspired him to make the character of the Millennium Falcon co-pilot there for a while uh, of Chewbacca so I thought that was interesting all right second interval done second fact I thought this is really interesting. Yoda was almost going to be portrayed by a monkey. They were going to dress up a monkey in the Yoda outfit and just animate the lips of the monkey. Um, yeah, I don't know how, I mean, I guess it would have been cool, but it probably wouldn't have been the easiest thing to do. Put a monkey in a costume and have it hit all its marks, but... There you go, Yoda was almost portrayed by a monkey. Alright, for this next one, I'm going to read it just as it's written on here. This is really funny. Anthony Daniels, who is C-3PO, fell asleep on the set of Return to the Jedi and awoke to overhear a huge Star Wars secret he wasn't supposed to know. After a quick nap behind a tree, Daniels woke up just in time to hear Leia reveal her true relationship with Luke. When I saw the finished movie, only I knew I was behind the tree, wrote Daniels. Luckily I hadn't been snoring. Perhaps I should have been a spy. So in that scene where it's Luke and Leia, C-3PO is behind a tree. That's so funny. It happens, I guess, on the set. You just never know. <laughs> I apologize if I am starting to glisten. We're over halfway done with this front workout. We're on back to number four, and I really hope I pronounce this character's name right. And I'll, I'll insert a picture. The character named Nanub made the leap from puppet to real person, you know, from the older made movies to the newer ones, but he was played by the same actor, Mike Quinn. He was the puppeteer for that character in Return of Jedi, and he donned the animatronic mask and flight suit for The Force Awakens. So there you go, same guy. All right, one of my favorite facts that the 
Porgs started out as puffin people. It says that Skellig Michael, the shooting location for Octu, is overrun with puffins. Director Johnson decided to make them a part of The Last Jedi rather than try to remove them from any of the scenes. And thus, the Porgs were born. So that's really fun. I did not know that. Um, I love I love puffins. I was very excited. We went to Nova Scotia for the opportunity to see them. We didn't see any, but that's where I got this little guy when we went to Nova Scotia. So there you go. I love Porgs. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, did my last interval, thank goodness. Last fact, I thought this one was really funny. Laura Dern, who played Admiral Holdo, couldn't resist making the pew pew noise. Sometimes you could see her mouth moving to make the accompanying sound effect when firing her blaster. And I'll insert a clip here, showing where if you watch real close, you can see her mouth make the noise. Oh, it keeps going. <laughs> Alright, got my four miles done for May the 4th. There's not really too many things that are as timeless as something like Star Wars. Um, not being a super fan, I don't know what year Star Wars started. But I just know that it's been around for a long time. And I'm a late in life um, Star Wars fan. Didn't really get into it until I met my husband and my stepkids. And when I married, married into the family, they... Um, we're big Star Wars fans, and we have seen every movie. Um, Rewatching them this week, of course, because it's Star Wars week. My favorite one is Rogue One. I do love Rogue One. Um, I love K2SO. He's my favorite droid. I think he's so funny. So I hope you enjoyed my Star Wars facts. Um, I got all those from StarWars.com, so hopefully they're legit. And they had like a whole list. I just picked out six. So go check that out if you want to learn some more about Star Wars. Um, but that'll do it for my may the fourth star wars video next week i'm actually going to be going for an official shoe evaluation fitting situation been running for almost four years and haven't done that yet so we're taking that as a step towards trying to resolve my foot pain so be sure to check that out next week like comment subscribe and always remember that you are his masterpiece may the fourth be with you <laughs>